living eco. Mary Murphy, getting serious now. So you're Mary Murphy, and you're a judge. Yes, I am. On So You Think You Can Dance. I'd love to. How's that? That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Brother, you've got to put some energy in. Yeah, I am. What was I can, that? No. That's my latest move. I'd actually like a job as your choreographer assistant. Is that right? Yeah, if you can give it to me. Anyway, so tell me, what brings you here tonight? Well, apparently I'm getting an award tonight for my charity work that I do for domestic violence and uh, my Chance to Dance program in San Diego. Oh, very, very cool. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, in San Diego, the domestic violence shelters that I help is uh, CCS, the um, City of Center, sorry, Center of City, the Center of City Solutions, and we fund two uh, shelters in San Diego, and we're having a great big fundraiser coming up on June the 4th. And, uh, you know, they reach about 30,000 women a year. And I'm not sure if you're aware of, but I'll let you know that there's probably three women a day that dance in, or that die in the United States um, from domestic violence. And uh, I just think it's important, of course, I broke my story this last year about my own situation of domestic violence. And it's made a big impact on my own life, breaking the silence. And it's really helped a lot in that way that I can come out and make a difference in it now as well. So a lot of people are and need a place to go to. In my day, we didn't have any shelters. And so it's really important for me because we've got federal funding has been cut to the domestic violence centers. Uh, the state now, Arnold Schwarzenegger, has helped and signed a bill that has now given us back 70% of the state funds, but not much. Uh, it's not going to... Uh, fund these houses to keep them over open. We need more, um, for sure. They need medical, they need lawyer advice, and they need psychological help as well, and a safe house that they can go to that nobody can get to them and hurt them. Yep. That's wonderful that you're doing that. I commend you on that. It's the least I feel like I can do. This is called the Green Lounge, an eco-luxury experience. So let's talk about that. No, actually, my second Green Lounge, yes. So tell me, what you brings you to a green lounge event? Are you green you at all? Know more than I do because this is my first time here. So are you green at all? I am a little bit green, I have to say. I haven't changed everything over, but looking into changing my dance studio into solar and my home. Oh. So we've been getting bids on that. Downsize my car. We recycle in my studio. Um, we recycle all our paper in our studio so we don't throw anything away. We cut it up, use the back or whatever corner still left, we try to use that. And uh, we have all the recycling bins at our studio as well as I do in my home. So do you have a bicycle? I do. And do you ride that around a lot? Um, I do. I like to ride, which I did tonight. My bike's right over behind this uh, behind this wall. I ride my bike to all of these events. I, I actually do. <laughs> what are some uh, things that you can maybe recommend to people that you've discovered as far as becoming green that you can recommend to people watching this? Well, I think... Um just the fact that uh, we're all just trying to get along and, you know, improve the planet is one thing. And, uh, and that makes me happy. I think uh, the more we do, because we're running out of space, literally, on a lot of different things. And uh, um, So if I were to give you some green suggestions, would you at least be willing to listen to me? I certainly listen okay. to him. Number one, when you turn on the water for your morning shower, do you collect the water? as the water is going down the drain, do you collect that water and then use it for perhaps washing your dishes or watering your plants? No, I do not. Do you? I do. Wow. So there's do just you? One, there's one suggestion. There's one suggestion. Here's another one. Do you? No, let me tell you what Jonathan does. Just curious. Jonathan is on what's called the No Trash Diet. If you check it out, it's notrashdiet.com. What it basically says is, when you're going to the grocery store, you cannot buy anything unless it's from biodegradable packaging. So he's a vegan, but if he for tofu, for instance, he could buy tofu normally, but it's in plastic packaging, so he can't buy that. He, and he's been doing this for several months, and he's actually lost weight doing it. It's an, Basically, you can eat meat if you so desire. I don't. I'm a vegan as well. But think about that. If you were to go to the grocery store and never come home with anything that's non-biodegradable, glass is biodegradable, plastic is not. Think about that. There's another tip. Just I challenge you to go on the no trash diet. I can work on that. No. That one doesn't seem that difficult yes, to me. Yes, yes. The water yeah. thing seemed a little harder. Okay. What about this one? Vermicomposting. In my kitchen, in a drawer, 
there is a bin. It's, a, it's actually a plastic bin, but I've got a recycled plastic bin. And in that are worms, little worms that actually eat my scraps of vegetables. Like when I'm cutting a tomato and I don't use part of it, or coffee grinds, which I actually, you know, I'm able to get at a, at, a, at a coffee house, a spent coffee grinds. They'll eat that. They'll eat anything organic. And it doesn't smell at all. Trash stinks. Yes. Banana peels smell if you put them in the garbage, but if you put a banana peel in my vermicompost bin, the worms eat it. It doesn't oh smell at all. And it God, turns into black gold gracious. soil, this incredible soil. That's a little tricky. That's a more advanced. Oh, I like the idea, but I don't think I can bring any worms into my house. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. But the worms don't go anywhere. They love the bin. They don't go anywhere, but oh. Okay, well, that's another. That's a suggestion <laughs> if you want to do it. What about wearing organic cotton or hemp clothing? Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I have some, yes. But you, you mean to go full throttle. Yeah. No. Do, do you know why? Do you know why people are buying organic cotton? Or some people are buying it just because it's organic and it's cool. Each t-shirt that people buy, her t-shirt, if it's not organic, uses a quarter pound of toxic pesticides to make the cotton. Pesticide. Whereas one quarter pound per t-shirt. If no. it's organic, no yeah. toxic pesticides are used on the cotton. Are you serious? I'm serious. You can look that up. So organic clothing. It makes me look at her t-shirt in a whole different way. I don't know if it's organic cotton. It might be. It probably is. But if it weren't organic you cotton, you felt it? I probably could not. No. But I, on the back of the label, it says organic. I is believe that it. organic cotton this you have is actually, on now? This was used. I buy okay. uh, samples. Good. So the stuff I buy, I'm very green. But anyway, no. <laughs> so those are just a couple of suggestions. Helpful. So, you know, if you have any more, uh, you just keep thinking about this stuff. That's why we're here tonight, to make people think Thanks. about green. Yeah. All right? And thank you very much, Mary. We have Mary. a website. We do. We do. We do. Give me a card, Okay. Brother. Let's check it out. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>